We're going to get the definition of Egypt according to the Bible so no, there will be no confusion. Since how old are you? Alright, what about you sis? What's your father? Son, okay, good, good. All praise your father. Yeah. You know God had to chose the people, right? Yeah. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Now watch it. Maybe watch so it. According to the Bible, yeah. Okay, watch it. Watch it. According to the Bible, God said, this is in Moses' time. If you keep breaking these laws, it's going to be a future prophecy that this is going to happen to you. Check this out, verse 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the I, I know that. So what you know? What you know? Who would have to? That you would be taken away in ships and enslaved. Well, Africans. Okay, and, and, and is this the question? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ships. So y'all know that happy says talking about ships that's talking about here. Go ahead. By the way, where have I spake unto thee? Hey sis, listen up. It's your history. Are you learning this in, in school? Are you learning about what happened to your people in school? You didn't learn. See, that's that's the problem. Why are they trying to erase that? Why would they erase that when God has the history right here? If God, if God wants you to know that, why is the school system not, not allowing you to know that? Right. That's a problem. All right. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said, we're not going to see a homeland again. Go ahead. And there. And there, once you get off of those ships. Go ahead. Ye shall be sold. You're going to be sold unto your enemies. Hold on. God said we have what? Unto your enemies. Who are you sold to? Of course, the Bible, not me. Don't worry about what I say. Forget what I say. I'm just a man. I, I know nothing. What did the Bible say? Right. Well, we will be sold. we sold to sis. Other Africans and to white people. Who else? It just wasn't them. They were the main culprits, but every other nation took part in our every other, and there right. you go. That's how you learn. That's how we learn Islam. We learned that under the Arabs. Right. Then, what's it? We learned the East Indian. We learned all that stuff. We learned all these other religions under them because right. we fell away from the Lord our God. Right. All right. Is that it? No, sir. Keep going. You shall be sold unto your enemies go ahead. for bondmen. Right. And bond women. Slave men and slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy. Now, when it says buy, it means redeem. If you go back to Leviticus 25, it means to redeem your brother. So once he was sold into captivity, you can go ahead and buy him out of that captivity. We have no man that could do that. A lot of people rose up for our cause. Martin Luther King, for example. Right. He tried to raise up for the better, better men of our people. Malcolm X, Marcus Dark, Chief Hotway, all these people that rose up for our state. They tried their best. All praise to the Most High. But it said, no man shall buy us. The only person that's going to be able to free us is, the, is Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. right. He's the only one that's going to save us when he comes back from that sky. Right. Now give me, uh, I'm going to show you all something real quick. Isaiah 63. Because people take this book as this, like this soft book where Jesus is going to come back and kiss everybody on the forehead and give them a flower and rainbows are going to be in the air. That's what people think in their mind when they learn it in the church. Yeah. All right? 63 and 1. 63 and 1. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 63 and verse 1. Let's go. Who is this that coming from Edom? Edom, all right? This is the capital. I'm gonna get into that later, but this is the capital of a special place. Go ahead. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments? With dyed garments. So it's talking about somebody's coming from a place with dyed garments. Let's get into these dyed garments. Go ahead. From Basra. Go ahead. This that is glorious in his apparel. His apparel is glorious, right? All white. Go ahead. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Hey, go ahead. I that speak in righteousness. This is Christ speaking. It's a prophecy about Christ that has not happened yet. This is him traveling through Edom. Go ahead. Mighty to save. Mighty to, it says mighty to save because when we talk about, oh, we're saved, right? What are we saved from? Christ is going to show you what he can do when he saves everybody. Not everybody, I'm sorry. When he saves a certain people. Go ahead. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel? Hold on. It says now his apparel is red. That's what it, that's why I said it's dyed garments. It's dyed red. Let's see why it's dyed red. Go ahead. And thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. What does it mean when you tread in the wine press? Has anybody ever seen that old show, I Love Lucy, when she was in that big, the wine press you stop on the grapes? That's how you tread wine. That's how you do it, right? So his garment was all white, but now it looks like he tread in the wine press. It's like red, right? Keep going. I have trodden the wine press. He said he has trodden the wine press. Go ahead. Alone. Alone. And of the people, there was none with me. Go ahead. For I will tread them. I will tread them. Speaking about people, Christ says he's going to tread them. Go ahead. 
in my anger. In his anger because the Lord is upset. Because his people are being oppressed right now. He came to save his people out of his captivity. Go ahead. And trample them. In my fury. In his fury, go ahead. In their blood. In their what? In their blood. That, that, that dyed garments, the wine press is talking about blood. What is Christ going to do? Go ahead. Shall be sprinkled upon my garments. Let's go. And I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my That's heart. That's the Lord's vengeance when he comes back to save his people, the ones that are being oppressed. That's why was since when you read 68, it said his people will be taken into slavery, right? And so... And sold on auction blocks all across the world. Not just here. Remember, we are we in South America too. We're in India. We're still, we're still slaves in Africa right now. Right. Is that is that correct? That's our people everywhere. We're not just here in America. We have to understand our people are scattered. Give me that. Um, is it Deuteronomy 4 and 27? Scattered? Yes, sir. Let's go. The Bible is gonna prove itself. God says he's gonna scatter his people. Well, thank you. Listen, check out that fight. Listen, you can stay. Listen, this is yeah, very I'll, I'll Since what did you learn today? What, what is, is what's Christ gonna do when he comes back? Mm. Nothing wrong with saying this is this is the Bible. I'm not preaching nothing outside the Bible. Anything I say, you can ask me. Listen, I dare anybody ask me what script. We can get it written down for you. You can take it home and research it yourself. We're not hiding anything. Anything. Read that real quick as you go. As you go. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter good, four, sir. verse twenty-seven. Read that. And the Lord shall scatter you. He said he was going to scatter the Israelites among the nations. Among the nations. Clear separation. He's going to put us where all the other nations are. Go ahead. And ye shall be left few in number. See what I mean, sis? We're going to serve slavery all across the world. That's why in every nation, we are at the bottom. Every place in every, the worst parts of the neighborhoods, that's where we populate. That's where there's ghettos. When you say, when I say ghetto or project, what do you think about? But, but we keep ourselves at exactly. the bottom. You know why we keep ourselves there? We don't have because unity and we exactly. fight each other. You know why? You want something to keep the laws of God. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Ah!